Hi, my name is Tara from Simple Day, and I'm on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. I want to show you a setup for managing grants that a nonprofit can use when they have to manage all of the grants that are coming in. They usually need to manage the process of applying for the grants, getting approval, and keeping track of them. Additionally, they need to they need to track all of the invoices that are coming in because they need to compare those against the amounts that they that they got. Now we're going to pretend that we're all the way at the beginning of the process. So let's just say I found out about a new grant and I will call it, I think I'm up to number 11, grant 11. I can add the person who's in charge of it. Right now it's at not started. I will set the due date as, let's just say the due date is January 1st. The submission date is when I'm going to submit my document. So I'm not going to fill that in yet. The decision date, let's say is going to be February 1st. Now, here is a place where you can have a timeline of the actual dates that the grant runs. So let's just say uh, this one will start from March 1st till April 30th. And I'm gonna enter the amount requested. Let's say this is a $20,000 grant. And I'm gonna add what kinds of grant type this is. Let's just say this is a federal type. I'm actually gonna move this over here. It's just gonna be a little easier for me because these all these columns we're gonna get to later are ones that I need to use once the grant was awarded. So now the first step of applying for a grant is you actually need to start working on it. You need to submit your documents and then it usually goes under an internal review. So let's just say I start working on my grants on all the, on all the documents and moves to the application stage. Now, once I receive approval, so I'm going to mark the grant as approved. Now it is going to go into in progress grant. So I'm going to set the submission date as today. And if you notice over here, a, a low level board for tracking this specific grant was automatically created. So we're going to get to that in a minute. Right now, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the information. So right now, I want to say how much I was awarded. Let's say I did a great job and I was awarded all $20,000. All $20, now here you'll see these three columns are basically to track the amount awarded, the amount that you actually spent on that grant and how much you have left. So right now we haven't spent anything, so we still have $20,000 left, but I'll show you how that will change. This column is a connected column to the individual grant board. So each low level grant board is connected to this one. So what I need to do is I need to go to this board, sorry, this column, and I need to make sure that it's connected to grant 11. Let's just add, I'm going to add another board and I'm going to add grant 11. Grant 11, I'm just going to add it. Just make sure it's here. Perfect. I'm just going to click connect boards. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to grant 11. And now this is already connected to the overview board. Now what I'm going to do, which is super cool, this is something called item default values. And basically what it means is that every single time I enter an item on this board, it's going to pull in this information. So I added the item default value for the connected column. So that means that every single thing is going to say grant 11, and it's going to roll up to the higher level board, which is exactly what we want. So we don't need to manually track everything. So now, I have a form that was set up and this form is set up so that way people who need to access it, um, like internal people, they, they're not necessarily working on the board, but they're just submitting their receipts. So here I'm just going to add in my name just to show you the whole process. Um, I'll just do the invoice amount, $120. And if I want, I can add files. Now I'll click submit. I have to go back to find my other board here. And I'm going to go back to my main table. So now you can see this was submitted. The information was received and it's automatically connected to grant 11. Now there's a whole interplay between the received and you'll see there's a whole bunch of statuses. Basically the, the, the submission goes to the, the grant lead, which here happens to be me. And then you could say if it was denied or approved and there's a whole back and forth in the automations with email. So that way, you know, now, if I go back to my grants overview, you can see on item 11, so the information, oh, I realize why, sorry, this was my fault. I forgot to connect this column. Once I see, I didn't connect the column here. Once I connect it to invoice amounts, so here it will show me I spent $120 and that's how much I have left in my grants. So 
the one last thing that you just need to keep in mind is you need to make a template. So that way you have a grant template. So this individual grant template is a board that was created that was set as template. So if you click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner, and if you just click on here it would be make as templates. Now I'm going to remove it for templates. Now what I did is if you go to the grant overview board, and if you look at the automations, Basically, the automation is when application changes to approved, create a board from template. So this is the board that we are going to create from the template. So if you ever want to change the template, let's just say you decide that you want to add an extra column, you need to go to your template board, but it won't apply to any of the existing grant boards already. It will only apply to the upcoming boards. So now that I think we have the whole process down, I, I basically just wanted to give a really quick overview of what we did. We have a, we have three kinds of boards. We have the grants overview board where you see everything going on and you have the individual grants template. And then you have each individual board, which is where you report the finances and it rolls up to the overview board. The last thing that I wanted to show you is the dashboard. So this dashboard is created on the grants overview board, which means that it pulls up the information from every single grant. And you can see we have the total amounts requested, the total amounts received, we have the status of all the different grants. Here we have division of grants by type, and here we have a timeline view of basically the timelines of each grant. I hope that this setup and this use case is helpful for you with your nonprofit. Uh, just so you know, you really can apply the system to almost any project. You can have a higher level overview board and then you can have individual projects. It's great for, I've used it for onboarding clients. It's a similar type of thing, onboarding clients, onboarding employees or running large projects. Hope it is helpful and have a great day.